Hello everyone, are you ready to build a Power BI report together? Let's get started. My name is Allison Gonzalez. I'm a Microsoft certified trainer here with Pragmatic Works. And this year we have been working in my report design series. We have done topic after topic all about the structure of your reports. You're picking a color palette, thinking through the visuals you wanna put on the page. And then now finally we get to put it all together and actually build a report together start to finish. So I'm actually gonna do this in two parts, that way this isn't a gigantically long video. The first part, we're gonna go with the setup. So we're gonna find our data, we're gonna get some inspiration, pick our colors, make a color palette, make a background, think through all of the images and look and feel and structure we wanna have in our report. And then in our next episode, we're actually gonna bring in the data, put those into the visuals, and get everything set up and finalized in our build. So. Let's get into it. Let's see what we're going to be doing with this first report build. So I had the opportunity to build a report for Earth Day for all of our social channels. So let's walk through what I did for that. So for this report, I wanted it to be about kind of tree planting and kind of trees getting removed. And I wanted to kind of see some statistics around that. So I found this data set which goes over all these facts about trees how many are planted every day by country all of that great data so i was able to pull this data into an excel spreadsheet and with that excel spreadsheet i can see those trees planted per year i can see the countries and their ranking up from one to a hundred of things and so this is a data that i'm going to be putting in so now obviously I'm very influenced by trees for this report. So when it comes to finding out a color palette in that episode that I did, and I'll link those all below, on color palettes and creating a theme in that there's a ton of different sites that I linked where you're able to go to find color palettes and generate them. Another really easy thing to do is just Google for color palettes of the colors you're looking for, and you will find lots of really good ones. I liked this one right here, which is from Color Lovers, it has a lot of really good greens and brown shades in it. And I also liked this one down here, which has some brighter greens. So I was able to utilize kind of both of these shades to bring this in. Next up, I knew I would need some imagery. And so that is where I was able to just Google for free stock images of trees. You never really wanna grab something, even if it's just for your personal use, but definitely suggest against taking just licensed images off of the internet. Definitely make sure you are getting some free stock ones to use. There are plenty of them out there. And I would also suggest picking a few different styles because you might at first, you know, when I was looking, I was like, you know, I really like this view up of the trees or maybe I want to say single tree, but then more and more, I really like the idea of kind of a whole forest of trees and kind of that whole look and feel. You can also, for your decorative elements, look for free stock icons. So I knew I was gonna want some icons related to trees, so I was able to search for those free icons to see all of the different downloads and those sheets you're able to use. Next up, we are gonna create a background for our report. And notice we're doing all of this before we have even gone into Power BI. Because I always wanna plan, get all of these things ready to go, have that all ready before you're just staring at a blank report screen. So then I moved in to PowerPoint. And here in PowerPoint, I saved my color palette. So the brighter one and the kind of more muted one. So I'd have access to these colors to easily pull those hex codes to create my theme. Also in here, I created my background. And so I have a few different layers of this background. Let's kind of talk through how we set this up. So first off, starting in the background again, that was pulling in that stock image, that free stock image that I could find. Again, I went through a few to find kind of the look and feel that I wanted. I also didn't want this to be full strength because that could be a little bit distracting. So instead, I set the opacity, that transparency level of this image down, and I set a black background behind it. So that is gonna mute that more. You could also have the opposite effect if you wanna have a lighter background instead of it being a dark background. 
I could in that black I could have white there and that would just make things lighter if you did a lighter background then the text and elements you put onto it could be darker it really just depends the look and feel of the report you're going for Next up, I put the logo on here. Now, if I'm gonna have a multi-page report, I'm gonna bring the logo in as an image to the Power BI desktop. Because this is only one page, I'm putting that on my PowerPoint instead. I'm gonna save as an image and upload to the background because it's just gonna be one less thing that that report will need to load every time it's on the page. I also do the same thing with my text because I'm gonna have that text here because one, text boxes in Power BI are kind of a pain and also because I'm not linking it to anything, I don't need to have that text editable right there in the Power BI desktop. And there we can see that tree icon that I brought in. Now on top of this, we talked in our structure of our Power BI report, how we should put things together on the page. One of those things we talked about was grouping and what better way to group things than to actually put them all on the same background now this helps it stand out from the logo from the title and all of my data is going to be in this section of my page when we get into the actual building of our report in our next episode we're going to see how we can structure the visuals on this page but i always find a good idea to kind of brainstorm think what you're going to do with that you can easily mock up by just bringing in some rectangles and then you can kind of place those around to kind of mimic where you would want your visuals to kind of get an idea of the layout you could have once your background is ready to go then you can save this now i was just saving it as an image type either an svg is going to be the highest quality you could also go with a jpeg or a png so you're going to go file save as and what's important is that whatever file type you pick whatever one of those image files you choose you want to make sure that you are only going to take the one page even though right now i have obviously multiple pages i want to make sure i'm just saving once so just this one once this is saved then you're able to get into your desktop now i already brought my data in i already have bunches of measures created in here ready to go to be able to use in those visuals but let's talk aesthetics so i'm going to right click in the background of the page and i'm going to click format canvas and then in this image section here for my canvas background, so just navigate in your computer to where you have that file saved and bring it in. Once it's in here, you will need to adjust your transparency from 100% because we clearly can't see anything all the way down to zero. And then you'll have that image in here to use. You will also need, and I'm gonna move this a little bit smaller so you can see this a little bit better. You wanna adjust your fit from normal to fit and that you can see will just take care of that tiny little adjustment where it's not matching up perfectly. Once we have our background in, let's take a look at our theme. So we already have our theme in here and set. So in your view ribbon, you can go here into your themes. With your color palette, you can pick one of these as a starting point. I would suggest picking whatever is closest. And then just go to customize current theme. And in here, you're able to input all of the hex colors for those shades that you chose from your color palette. We talk much more about this process in that color theory episode. Once you have everything set, including your text and your visuals and your pages, everything the way you need it to go, go ahead and hit apply. Now our report is set up and we are ready to build. So our report is starting to look great. We have the basics in place for it. Next episode, we are gonna be putting all of our visuals in and all of the data into the visuals. So make sure you like, and of course subscribe so you'll see when that next episode comes out. If you have any questions, thoughts on this series, please add those below. Happy learning, and I will see you in the next episode.